Hi guys, my name is Jay and welcome to another episode of Find and Magic Elemental Guardians and today we will be talking about glyphs. So let me just go into my creatures page and you can see from here uh, this is the glyph management page and from the right hand corner of the page you can see that there's three shapes of glyphs which is the hexagon shape at the top the square shape in the middle and the droplet shape at the bottom so you can slot the corresponding glyphs into its corresponding shape and from here you can see um, there are four rarity I don't have the the, the least the, the most common one which is the white color one but I have the other three uh, rarity here which uh, is the blue one which is uncommon and also the next rarer which is the green one the rare yellow which is epic and the most rare uh, glyph which is the purple one which is legendary so um, the difference between this uh, rarity is that the main set that it provides to your creatures so the rarer the glyphs the higher the base that it is for the stats it provides for your your creature so the glyphs can be powered from level 1 all the way to uh, level 16 and of course you can see from the power up page that it costs the currency to upgrade and there's a chance that it might fail so once you place your glyphs onto your creatures there's you can also choose to remove them however the higher the rarer the glyphs is the more expensive it will cost to return the glyph into your inventory as you can see here this is uh, 45,000 and for a le uh, less rarer one it will be probably 5,000 so whenever you do power up your glyph right you can see there's a, there will be an increase in the main stat however the sub stat will also increase or be added onto your glyph with every 3 power ups that is provided to your glyph and from the bottom right corner right you can see that there's a glyph bonus and this glyph, glyph bonus right can be a, achieved by having three glyphs of the same type uh, which could be seen here i have the speed and the critical rate speed plus 10 and critical chance plus 10 percent so they are to form this um, bonus right you will need to have three glyphs of the same type as you can see, uh, there's an carve on the glyph itself. I have the frenzy and the uh, haste one. So uh, from the right, left hand side, where you can see there are the various glyphs type that you can equip on your creature, which is the vitality, which, pro which provides twenty percent HP, the strength that provides twenty percent attack, frenzy, which is on mine, Shrian right now, which provides ten percent critical rate, defense. 20% defense, haste 10%, which is also on my uh, train right now, precision plus 20% accuracy, destruction, which provides 30% critical damage, endurance, 20% resistance, life steal, 25% life steal from the damage that's dealt, appeasement, which uh, increases 15% of healing that's done, um, meditation, which gives you a 20% chance to have a cooldown on your skills at the end of every turn and also immunity which grants you one turn uh, immunity at the start of every wave so this is the basic of the glyphs uh, next I'll um, share with you guys uh, where you can get the places which you can get your glyphs the most I mean the easiest way you can get is from the magical shop which can, which can be purchased and of course there will be a chance that there will be even legendary glyphs from here the second way is to get it from the summoning altar uh, inside the chest of course the blood chest will probably be able to provide a legendary glyph if you are lucky enough uh, next it's the guild from the guild shop you can purchase a glyph using your guild token and lastly you can also get it from the shattered islands which 
you can get up to a high uh ep highest which is epic rarity from the nightmare difficulties and uh, sorry and lastly um where most people do farm is from the dragon mist island the glyphs dungeon however it's uh split into three different dungeons which is the benefit rough and strength so as you progress the rarity that is dropped by the boss will increase as well so this is probably where you want to farm your glyphs so how you uh, manage your glyphs depends on your playstyle and of course the creatures that you're you are bringing out to stage be it pve or on pvp content for example for my ember trian this is how i glyph it because i want he's my healer and i want him to be able to move fast and hit crits because the passive that he has is it heals the ally or ally by 20 percent of the max hp if it, he deals a critical attack so this is how i glyph him i don't care about the rest which is like able to drain hp and stuff like that because this is he is my healer so this is how i want to build him however in my default how you want to build the the same ember train differently it's also possible so it really depends on your personal playstyle so this is uh, my take on the glyphs and hope you guys like my video and if you do like it i uh, hope you give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more future content and hope to see you guys again. Thank you. Bye-bye.